long before stars begin fusing hydrogen at their centers, when they are still just hot over densities in the process of contracting. We call them protostars. Space is not that empty after all. It's actually full of gas and dust, which is called the interstellar medium. The gas is mostly made up of atoms of hydrogen, though small amounts of heavier elements can be found floating through space as well. In some regions, the interstellar medium is assembled into a big cloud of dust and gas called a nebula. Stars begin very small, simple particles in vast clouds of dust and gas. These nebulae remain cold and monotonous for ages until everything stirs up when a newcomer speeds through. As particles collide, they begin to form clumps. Eventually, a clump reaches more mass and therefore a stronger gravitational pull, attracting even more particles from the surrounding cloud. Hence, the center grows denser and hotter, and over millions of years, the clump grows into a small, dense body called a protostar. A protostar looks like a star, but its core is not yet hot enough for fusion to take place. The brightness we observe comes from the heating of the protostar as it contracts. Protostars are very difficult to be seen in the visible spectrum because they are surrounded by dust and gas, which blocks the light they emit. This stage of stellar evolution may last for between 100,000 and 10 million years, depending on the size of the star being formed. Slowly, when the stellar winds and radiation blow away the gas and dust, and when the surrounding shell is all cleared up, the star will enter the T-Tauri phase, for which we will talk about more in the next video.